everybody welcome back to the channel and five minute friday uh had a lot of great questions uh a ton that are inappropriate that have come from my friends and so uh thank you jackasses uh sorry if you can't see me i'm wearing camouflage both uh top and shirt i don't have jogging pants or camel pants on but uh we're pretty consistent here anyway. So we're gonna start the clock. We'll start it right over here. And we're gonna get into five questions in five minutes. So we'll get her started. Number one, how'd you get into coaching? So back in 2000, I was starting to make good money. And in Kamloops, the town that I grew up in, there wasn't a lot of people my age with cash. So I selfishly started training or trying to train friends and uh, kind of associates on how to start companies and make money simply so I had people to ski and or golf with. It was totally selfish when I started. I didn't really know what coaching was other than from a, a sports perspective, but I was just trying to kind of get people up to speed so that they would have cash to do things that I wanted to do. I uh, had a lot of free time, I had a lot of free money, but I had not many people to spend time with or to spend money with. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, now wife, was uh, still finishing her undergrad degree and uh, would then be going to law school. So I basically needed people to play with during the week. I have no friends. Hence, that's why I got into coaching is to teach friends how to make money and now it's grown into what it is today that I kind of loved it from the beginning uh, and I love it now there's nothing I'd rather do than coach I mean even speaking it would take a second place to working one-on-one -on -one with people question number two has sales always been easy it has and the reason why it has is both of my parents sold when I was a kid my parents sold real estate my mom did more of the residential and my dad did residential and commercial and so I was around salespeople all the time so I didn't have any of the fear that people have around talking to people I uh, used to love to sell newspaper subscriptions you know when they do the jump a rope for heart uh, promotions where you know you'd sign people up to give you money for jumping skipping ropes I'd always win uh, even with real estate, my parents, when they would be showing a house, the number one downer to a showing are whiny kids. And so my parents would have me bring my toys from our home to the open house. We'd find the rumpus room. I'd lay out the toys. I keep the kids busy, right? Giving them shit to play with and keeping them preoccupied so that my parents could show the house to their parents. And every house that my parents sold, I got 50 bucks. And so it was pretty good positive affirmation that if you are taking care of people and letting a sale happen, uh, you get paid. So yeah, never, never been scared. I've always been good at it. And I like people. You know, deep down, I enjoy people. It's rare for me to meet somebody that I don't, I'm not curious about. Well, curiosity is 90% of sales. Number three, do you watch a lot of TV? So we are in Corona times right now and I'm watching more TV than I've ever watched in my life. Uh, I normally binge on shows like The Prophet and Shark Tank, I can watch all day, uh, Dragon's Den in Canada, but I've been binging on reality TV. I don't want to admit to you what I'm watching because uh, it's embarrassing, but I've watched five seasons of one reality show, not the Kardashians, in the last uh, two weeks. So I've probably watched 60 hours. And what I do is when I've had a really long day of calls, then I'll veg out in the evening and watch two or three episodes every night and on the weekends even more. Am I ashamed? No, I'm not. Will I do it when things normalize in the new norm? No, I won't. Am I enjoying it now? Yes, I am. I should be watching Duck Dynasty given my outfit. Okay, number four, favorite podcast. And are you doing a podcast? Favorite podcast is Joe Rogan, but only when he doesn't have comedians on. Uh, I don't get much out of his comedian podcast, but when he has people like uh, Neil Tyson and smart, smart people, Joe Rogan's not that smart. I don't think I'm that smart. He asks questions that I would ask. I feel like at the end of a three hour podcast, when he interviews someone smart, 
I'm smarter, and so I listen to those all the time. For entertainment, Joey Diaz, uh, Coco Diaz, some might know. I listen to his stuff all the time too, but I just for laughs. He's very funny to me. Number five, do you ever get fired by clients and for what reasons? I do. I do most of the firing. And so I would say for every 50 clients I fire, I get fired. Uh, I normally get fired by clients who think that I'm too rough on them or I've hurt their feelings or I'm not giving them enough breaks because... I'm not taking into consideration the dynamics in their life. Those are all probably pretty true. I'm not one for excuses. Uh, I was brought up in a house that uh, the saying was excuses are for fucking losers. And so get it done or get out of the way. With my clients, I look to bend them but not break them, but I'm certainly not the easiest coach. One client called me a hard ass with heart. It's true. I care about my clients doing well. And as soon as I start caring more than they do, uh, I normally give them a warning shot and then I punt. Often when I've given them a warning shot, it hurts their feelings and I get punted. Totally fine. That's why I have a sales funnel and always a steady uh, list of prospects that are ready to come in. Average time to replace a client is under a day. And so that is the five. Thank you for the questions. Kate, Marianne, Debbie, Dina, and Tom. Thank you very much. I should start giving prizes for people. What, what would you guys want in the comments section? What would you want? If you use it, send a question and I use it, what would you want? Anyway, put it down there. If you have any questions, comment section. Always email chris at goco.com. Gladiators eat first. And so get after it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.